In this video, we will discuss mounting and centering a crystal. Before picking up a crystal to mount on the instrument, check that the cryo stream is stabilized at 100K. This is the type of mount used by groups at GU. The silver part is a magnetic base that allows for easy mounting on the goniometer. The copper shaft securely grips the interchangeable micromount tips. If you look very closely, you can see the extremely thin polyamide loop coming out of the top. We'll get a closer look under the microscope soon. While using the microscope eyepieces, we will try to scoop the crystal up onto the very top of the micromount. Be careful not to press the mount into the slide too hard or you risk damaging the flexible plastic tip. Picking up a crystal on the mount is a skill that requires patience and a lot of practice. Here you can see the sh shape of the micromount tip. To pick up a crystal, I first make sure it's out of any large pools of oil and then I try to slide the mount underneath and lift the crystal up. I want the crystal as close to the top of the loop as possible and with the absolute minimum amount of residual oil on it. Once it's on the loop in a good position, quickly get it on the instrument. The 100K nitrogen stream will solidify the oil, which acts as glue to hold the crystal on the mount and as a protective coating for air and moisture sensitive samples. The copper colored disc you see on the goniometer head is fairly strong magnet that holds the mount securely in place. Now that the sample is mounted, it needs to be centered. To center the crystal, we use the tool seen here that fits nicely over the adjustment screws on the goniometer head. There are a total of five adjustment screws, four XY adjusters and one Z adjuster. The top screw on the only side that has two screws is the Z adjuster. Turning this one raises or lowers the crystal. The other four screws adjust XY position. We generally only want to adjust screws on the side of the goniometer head pointing directly out at us. So we need to rotate the goniometer head in order to access the other screws. This is done by clicking the large spin phi buttons in the Apex software. There is a spin phi 90 button and a spin phi 180 button. After each click, the goniometer spins the desired amount and I have access to the screws on a different side of the goniometer head. Initially, my goal is just to get the crystal roughly in the center of the crosshairs. Once the crystal is roughly centered, I can make the final adjustments to ensure it is perfectly centered. First, I'll click Spin Phi 90 and center the crystal. Next, I spin phi 180, making note of where either the far left or far right edge of the crystal is before and after the 180 spin. I then adjust the crystal position to be halfway between the starting and ending points. I'll spin 180 again to ensure the crystal does not appear to be translating after spinning 180 degrees. Once I'm satisfied it isn't translating, I spin phi 90 and then repeat the 180 spin and adjust process. When I'm satisfied that the crystal does not appear to translate after spinning 180 degrees, then I'm done centering. I can also adjust the height of the crystal anytime the Z adjust screw is accessible. Centering the crystal properly is a relatively easy but very important step to get right.
When I'm finished centering, I put the tool back in its place, turn off the light, and gently close the doors.